2023 was officially the hottest year on record. NASA and NOAA revealed in a report released today. So temperatures were two degrees Fahrenheit higher than the average. KXAN's Eric Henriksen spoke with NASA Earth scientist Doug Morton about the results and what's ahead for 2024. Now, Doug, how did NASA come to these conclusions about 2023? So 2023 is the hottest year in recorded history. And that really reflects an effort by NASA and NOAA to maintain a global record of temperature that's derived from actual thermometer sensors. We are taking temperatures of the land surface uh, as well as the oceans to create this global record and estimate just how much warmer we all were in 2023 than past years. So what does this data tell us about 2024 moving forward? Well, 2023 is really consistent with what we understand are the major drivers of increasing temperatures. So greenhouse gases in the atmosphere from human activity are contributing to a warming planet. And 2023 really fits the pattern of the way we understand our Earth as a system and the way that those changes in greenhouse gases are likely to continue to increase our temperatures. There's two other things that are ongoing, one of which will continue to play out in 2024. And that is a ongoing El Nino, so warmer than usual Pacific Ocean temperatures. That kind of supercharges the planet, and our previous records for temperatures have all come during those El Nino cycles. You may think it's uh, just a phenomenon that impacted last year, but it's actually likely to play out over the coming uh, nine or 12 months. And so we'll continue to look for the ways in which that El Nino impact is represented in places uh, like the U.S., but also other regions where we know there's a strong change in temperature and rainfall associated with El Nino. Now, my understanding is you're a deforestation expert. Uh, you've been studying this for a number of years. So how does deforestation impact our global temperatures? Deforestation, in particular in places like the tropics, is another really important component of the overall production of greenhouse gases from human activity. NASA satellite data have been some of the most important ways in which we've been able to track the way in which changes in tropical forest cover have happened year over year across many continents. In my own work in the Amazon, for example, we're really excited about the way in which uh, NASA's ability to make these data freely and openly available has really helped keep everyone accountable. Are we making progress against problems like tropical deforestation that do contribute to greenhouse gases? Uh, the answer in recent years is actually yes. And so I think this is another part of the potential success story where our ability to use satellite data to monitor our changing planet is actually part of the solution we're looking for going forward. That said, even if we can make real headway on tropical deforestation, we're still going to have to take our foot off the gas, so to speak.